Welcome back to My St. Louis Live. We figure why not give you a live look at part of My St. Louis, specifically Jefferson Lake in beautiful Forest Park. Forest Park is one of my favorite places to go for a run, but when I cannot get out of the house and go to the park or go to the gym, I don't need to hold off on my workout. Many of you are watching from home right now, so look around. You might be in the living room. Probably doesn't look like a gym, but with a slight change of perspective, it can. I'm very happy to have Natalie Xline with us today, our very first live in studio guest on My St. Louis Live. Natalie, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm so honored. <laughs> we are honored to have you as part of this workout Wednesday. She is a certified personal trainer, but also a pregnancy and postpartum exercise specialist. I worked out with you when I was pregnant. Yes. Then after I had my son, you just welcomed another baby. I did. And there are certain things we do need to think about when we're pregnant or postpartum when we do start the workout process. Yeah, the biggest thing is one, being cleared by your doctor, mm -hmm. uh, being pregnant or postpartum. And then the second is breathing. So. 360 breathing is a big thing, making sure you're engaging your core from the bottom up okay. instead of the top down. Mm -hmm. the, your core is like a canister, so think about squeezing the toothpaste. Mm -hmm. You don't want to squeeze from the top, you want to go from the bottom up. Okay. So yeah. So when we're doing that, is there something I should be thinking about? So when you're engaging your core, you want to make sure that you're going, you inhale, get a big belly breath, mm -hmm. breathe all the way into your rib cage, Exhale, squeeze from the bottom. Okay. Big, loud exhale. Okay. And so, there are a few exercises we can do with couches. Oh, for sure. What's so, the first one? First biggest one is just a normal squat. Okay. So stand up, mm -hmm. squat down. You can tap the couch with your butt and make sure that you're getting full depth. Nice. And this is pregnancy, postpartum, everything mm -hmm. safe. And then from there, as you stand, make sure that you're just not over clenching your glutes because okay. that can just cause some unnecessary tightness that you don't need. Okay. Uh, next move, you can kind of ease your booty off the edge of the couch, mm -hmm. go right into some tricep dips. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, that's easy. You wanna make it harder, you can walk your legs out. The longer your legs are, the harder it is. Okay, and you can do that while the baby's sleeping. Oh yeah, or, or the right baby's there. just right there playing. Mm -hmm. And then last move, kind of going with the couch, you're gonna get your upper body on the couch. Okay. You're gonna do hip thrust. So you can kind of go down, exhale as you drive your hips up. Okay. And make sure that you're engaging your full foot on the floor mm -hmm. and then you'll engage your full hamstrings. Any suggestion on as I delicately yeah, I get back say. up on how many of these you should be doing at once. So easiest just to, it doesn't get in your head too much is 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Okay. Do like three to four rounds. Perfect. And the baby can be playing, you can be watching TV, anything. You make it easy. That's yeah. why we invited her. And you can follow <laughs> Natalie at nat.xline on Instagram. I love that you are posting so many different videos about couch workouts, so it's very easy to do. We will yes. also post this segment at kmov.com slash my STL live after the show. You guys, 